The Early Needs Recovery Program is a part of the $150 million primary industry support package. It's co-funded by the Australian and New South Wales governments under the Disaster Relief Agreement. Off the back of the February 22 floods, the program aims to support the primary producers to regain productivity. A number of local government areas were disaster declared after that flooding event all over the east coast of New South Wales and we focused on the north coast area because it was the most highly impacted. We're also focusing on the Hunter area, south east and the greater Sydney regions. With the Early Needs Recovery Program, over the past 12 months we've been able to support 820 primary producers in the impacted regions. There's four main components to the program, so the first one being the landscape scale pest, weed and disease control and management, and the second being additional resources, so boots on the ground in both the local land services regions as well as DPI. Thirdly, there's supporting the industries to then provide support to their primary producers to recover. And the final one, supporting not-for-profits who are out rebuilding fences for impacted primary producers. Right across the Early Needs Recovery Program, we've put 12 additional staff into the local land services regions. That's really just boosting those regions' ability to provide more advice and extension services and support producers. We had both face-to-face -face and online meetings with those industry bodies to really determine what the challenges that they were facing. From that collaboration with those industry bodies, we were then able to build a grants program that met their needs. What's been rewarding is being able to take those challenges and support them, really supporting the primary producers on the ground. So the information that they'll gain from those activities will then put them in a better place to deal with future floods, as well as building resilience into future disasters.